All right, first let's take a look at some examples that I found. So there's a lot of these like weird kind of like curved and, and wonky lines with some text and shapes and things inside of them. And they use them to create like some background elements and different sorts of wavy patterns. And they did this with several different icons as well as different kinds of text. Of course, the different colors that they chose really create these like standout graphics and make everything pop. I think the color choices are done really well. I really like these bright colors and how they all work together. And I just think that's it's really, really eye catching stuff. This group of uh, genre like uh, rankings has been the most criticized part of this graphics pack because you can see down here when these words are really long and squished together, they just become almost like completely illegible. You can't really read these at all. And I didn't like that at first, but I kind of took a second look at it and realized that these are more like a thumbnail image. And it's still a little strange that they chose to stretch them so much but I actually really kind of like it, especially because it has the caption next to it. Like it or not, I wanted to show exactly how you could do something very, very similar to the way these styles are created. I wanted to go in and test out what I thought was the way that they did these. So I made some graphics for this stuff already. So here you can see I made a few things that I'm going to use for my examples here. And the top three are very straightforward. It's putting the text for those music genres inside of these boxes to create kind of a banner or what I've been kind of calling like a tape. The bottom two are a good use of how they use different graphics and icons. Now this is basically exactly like the 2021 banner or tape that they made with the little stars and things next to it. And then this one was based off of one that I saw. I just kind of made a quick and easy version of it, but they used all sorts of icons in a very similar way. So I basically just took a rectangle, typed in some text over it for these. I think theirs have a little bit more of the text inside, but I also stretched it to kind of stylize these in a way that they were all very consistent. On the graphics ones, I did the same thing. I just took a rectangle and drew in an icon or some text or whatever it is. It's actually very, very simple. You know, it's very basic to create this like base piece of art. Now, the trick that you're going to want to do here is take each one of these graphics and turn them into a brush. All right, so I'm going to split these up into two groups. I'm going to use the art and graphic styles and then the text files different because they use these in two different in two different ways. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this 2021 graphic. I'm going to click the plus button here and I'm going to select pattern brush because if you look at this, you can see that they kind of repeat and that they use these in different sections here. So I'm going to take my brush tool with this brush selected and I'm just going to draw in some sort of line and you can see that it creates that shape there. Honestly, I might even be able to decrease the width of this background here. I'm going to make a new brush just for comparison, select pattern, click OK. And now with my brush tool, when I draw over this, you'll see that they're a little bit closer together. Now, this sharp angle here kind of messes it up and breaks it, but you can just take the pencil tool and reshape it. And if you look at it, you can see on these curves where it gets really distorted. And that's the same thing that's happening here on this image. And that's how they're getting these weird and wonky shapes. So you can basically draw any kind of shape that you want with that brush tool. And the more like weird that your shape is, the more you're going to get that weird distortion and overlap and crooked corners and things. All right, let's go ahead and make a brush out of this clock pattern. Click the plus button, check pattern, click OK, and then let's draw some lines. So you can see they're just stretched slightly on this part, but if you create some more flow, you can really see how they get twisted up on these curves and corners. And that looks a lot like what they're doing with these images and these graphics here. You can see how this one is super distorted right here. The same for this little crown and 
that's pretty much all you have to do. All right, now let's take a look at what they did for their genre descriptions. So I'm gonna take this top one and I'm gonna create another brush out of it. But this time I'm gonna select the art brush. Click okay. Oh, I have to outline my text first. Okay, so let's take each one of these and make them into an art brush. And I'm just using the default settings on all of these brushes. Just make sure that you're selecting the right type of brush. And that's all that really matters. All right, so let's take a look at this image here. If you really look at it, you can see that they stretch out further to the right, the higher in ranking that they are. So essentially, they're just creating almost like a graph that has a longer line the higher up in the ranking that it is. So if we just make a line here and assign it one of our brushes, you'll see that it creates this very similar look. And now if I take another line and I just make it a little bit shorter and it still has this brush on here, you can see that it squishes it in a little bit closer. So let's go ahead and copy this one down and shrink our line once more and you can really see how that squish look is being affected by the length of the line that you have drawn. So now I'm going to select a different brush to apply to this. I'm going to go with my second one and then this one's going to be crazy because it has such a longer text and name and it becomes really, really squished exactly like you see in the example. Yeah, it's very, very simple the way that they created these things. And I definitely understand if people don't like it and why they don't like it. Either way, I wanted to hop on and show you real quick how to create this kind of style and, um, you know, hope that you guys can find some good use for this type of art, find other creative ways to use your brushes and create something completely original, or you can use this to create a parody of the Spotify wrapped graphics. All right, guys, this one's short and sweet. Thank you so much for checking out my video. If this is your first time seeing one of my videos, I normally do a lot of graphic design tutorials for Photoshop and Illustrator. If that's the kind of content you wanna see here, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can also hit that like button down there. It helps me out tremendously. It tells YouTube that this is a good quality video and that it should show it to other people that'll get good value out of it. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification down there so you can be notified every time I release another video like this. If you wanna see some of my day-to-day -day content, you can follow me on Instagram at Nick Q or on my TikTok at Nick Q 83. All right, guys, that's it for this one. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.